What's up, YouTube? My name is John Jagsney, and welcome to my series, What the Fuck is After Effects, where we break down a very specific part of this fun but complex piece of software. Let's save you some time and dive right into today's topic. All right, we're on the shape tool now and I use this one all the time as well. So basically it is this guy right here and you can access it by hitting Q and if you hold shift on your keyboard, you can cycle through the different shapes or if you hold alt on your keyboard and click, you can cycle through it as well. Now, if you double click, it will create a shape layer as well. So if you double click on it with no shape layer selected or nothing selected in your timeline, then it'll make a shape the size of your composition. Let's just undo that because I wanna make a couple shapes. So I have my shape selected here, shape tool by hitting Q and I can just make a shape. And then I can say hold shift and then Q and then make another shape. Now we're gonna make a circle. If you hold shift, it'll have the proportions of that shape to be perfect. So now we're making a perfect circle and we can just make another circle there if we wanted to. Let's make an oval this time. Ooh, and then hold shift and now we're making a hexagon. And if you hold alt on your keyboard and then hit the up or down, it will change how many sides you have. So I want a triangle now. Now you have that and then let's do that again. Let's make a hexagon so yeah, so now we're making a shape layer. You can see down here now, if I wanted to make another layer not within this shape layer, then I would have to deselect that shape layer and just make a new one. So let's just make a new circle, hold shift and then Q, cycle through and get our ellipse tool, hold shift and drag. Now we made a new shape layer. Now we can see here on this first shape layer that we made, that we made a bunch of different shapes. And let's say I wanted to move this rounded rectangle, so, so to speak, from here to more left, we can double click on that shape and it will go deeper into the shape layer and select it. And then let's say I wanna move this triangle because we have a little tangent on the text here, double click and move. And then if you deselect that shape layer, now we have all that master shape layer selected and we can move everything around, go back, select your little circle thing. And then fun fact, if you go to edit, preferences, general, wait for your preferences to open. And then there's a little option here, center anchor point in new shape layer. So I normally have that selected on my laptop. I didn't because I don't really use this unless I'm doing a tutorial or something like that. Cause I got my big machine over there, but I'm rendering and uh, I have all my plugins there, not here. So um, center anchor point on new shape layers. That's a super useful tool. So whenever you, you make a new shape layer, so let's just deselect everything. And then just make a, let's say a polygon. And just hold shift to make proportions. And then that center point, that anchor point will lock in place. So yeah, super useful tool. And then if you ever need to make a mask as well, the same principle applies. Let's delete all these shape layers to, just to make things easy to see. Hit control Y on our keyboard and we can make a new solid. So let's just make this a, a nice, maybe a lime green. I'm colorblind, so I'm sorry if this isn't lime green. Uh, hey, look, lime green solid. And then we have a shape that takes up the entire composition. And then if we just go to our shape tool, we can just make a mask and make a mask and then make another mask. So now you can see on the solid, we're adding masks and we can do fun things with that as well. Normally as a motion designer, I highly recommend you learn how to use shape layers over solids, but we'll talk about that in the future. All right, let's jump forward. All right, my friends, that is today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below or just drive a truck into that like button. It lets me know that I'm making content that is valuable to you. If you wanna check out some of the cool things I offer, the links are going to be in the description down below. And until next time, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you and I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of butter. Goodbye. Put the place up. Put my face up.